what I heard of university, I was pretty disillusioned with like the massive class sizes and the minimal contact time and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I don't want to go to university. University is not for me. I searched all over the world online for something that was different from what was being offered to me. And I found Quest and I started looking at what Quest was like. Small classes, the blog program, totally interdisciplinary academia. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is where I want to go. It's the only place I applied for. And here we are two years later. The big picture behind Quest, as opposed to other institutions, is that Quest is entirely focused on delivering outstanding undergraduate education. Quest University is unique. It's not like any other university. I've been in universities for over 35 years, and there isn't a place like this. What's at the heart of this institution, it's the teaching and the mentorship, the intimate relationship that the students and tutors develop over time, the love of teaching that the tutors have, and the love of learning that everybody starts to develop. Last year, I was attending a larger university and I was attending courses that were 200 people lecture rooms. And then I was going to another course and I was going to another course. Now I had like three or four courses a day, juggling all of that and prioritizing one over the other. That was a problem because how can you put one subject over the other? Here, you have an opportunity to just focus all of your attention on one subject, and that is your one and main priority. So academics comes first. Quest is a really cool way of structuring their classes. Rather than a traditional university model where you take like four or five classes at a time, Quest allows you to take one class for a period of three and a half weeks called a block. Each day you come to class and you have about three hours of either lecture-based or discussion-based class time with your tutor. Then you just have the whole rest of the day to be working on projects or doing readings, getting really in-depth and focused on one particular topic. It's definitely a lot more engaging to learn on the block program because you get to fully immerse yourself in a course and in terms of the class setup you also have a lot of really engaging courses where you do stuff outside of the classroom. So you know the biodiversity class just got back not long ago from Peru. You can study ancient Greece in Greece with your teacher because that's the only subject you're taking. You don't have to worry about the two or three others you're missing. Yes, sometimes you'll be in a course that is mandatory but isn't necessarily what you're particularly interested in. But that's what life's about, putting yourself in uncomfortable positions as an opportunity to grow. And Quest really helps open up your eyes and see how much more intersectional your education could be. It's more important now than ever to be able to evaluate the, the slew of incoming information via the internet and other sources in critical ways. And to do so, you need an understanding of basic scientific concepts. You need an understanding of philosophical reasoning, ethical reasoning. I didn't want to be a scientist who didn't know about philosophy. I didn't want to be an, a historian who didn't know uh, how cells work or how, how the climate is warming. Or I didn't want to be a politician or a teacher that couldn't answer questions about physics or the nature of reality or what Socrates was talking about when he asked, what is justice? I think that if you really want to try to solve a lot of these complex problems, you need to understand, A, how to communicate across different disciplines, and also be able to respect and understand how different types of value system or different ways of knowing or different cultural perspectives, all those things play in. You can come to Quest, you can do a math block, followed by a French poetry block, followed by a political science block, followed by an organic chemistry block, and then you get to experience what it's like to put those hats on and you can find out if that's the kind of thing you want to pursue further. And Quest, I think, uniquely offers that opportunity to undergraduate students. Unlike a traditional university, Quest allows you to have a question that allows you to explore any topic of your choosing through a number of different lenses. My question is, do we desire truth or narrative? And it's journalistically focused, mainly. But it's also allowed me to focus on art, on political science, on indigenous histories, on conflict ideology, on critical theory. It's been really, really useful for taking a whole bunch of different approaches to exploring a single question. What really excites me about the question program as opposed to a major is that you're not restricted in terms of fusing two different, totally opposite disciplines together. So for me, for instance, I'm very interested in political science, international relations, and also animation, which I'd never get the opportunity to do anywhere else. The class size is a capped at 20 students. 
which means that every single course you're in is call and response. You can put your hand up, ask questions, have discussions. It's not just like sitting in a lecture hall watching something that you could be watching online. It's a totally different currency that we're dealing in here. As an instructor at other institutions, there are times when I felt like I'm creating an educational program and I'm trying to help students learn and the students have some other different set of goals. Like their goal might be just to get a degree or their goal is to get this credit so that they can go into dentistry or whatever. Whereas I feel like here, we're totally in line in the classroom, like in the education that we're trying to provide. You go into class and I feel like they really want to learn. I can always count on students to be engaged in my class. Like, that is the number one thing that comes to mind, is that I can plan classes knowing that students will come in and be willing to work hard and interact with each other and they'll come into my office hours. Really what I can count on is that Quest students want to be here and they want this education. And they want it because they want to learn. They don't just want some degree at the end, they want to actually learn something while they're doing this. I had a visiting tutor come up and he was just like, I don't really know what it is, but even in your first year students, there's just this academic courage and willingness to really wrestle with the content that you just don't see in other places. Most of the discussions that we have in class are continuing into lunch, are continuing after class, into dinner, into spending time at the cafeteria talking about something that we discussed in class, into the cafeteria closing. Because we're just so passionate about what we're learning, because our tutors are really passionate about what they are teaching. The faculty that, that teach here are super passionate. They work incredibly hard and love teaching and that's something that rubs off on me in ways that I never thought possible. I mean, in high school, I wasn't entirely on board with mathematics. Uh, I think I would say I was a little bit apathetic towards mathematics, um, but the tutors here are so engaged that they made me love it. I mean, <laughs> if somebody can achieve that in three and a half weeks, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> They're incredible people and I love them. I think I've grown in so many ways since I've come to Quest and ways that I didn't imagine. I've learned so much about myself through my academics and I've found academic passions that I didn't even know existed or fields I didn't even know existed prior to coming to Quest. However, I think so much of my growth has also been interpersonal. When I was looking for a university, I really wanted to look for a school that was going to bring about the community that I wanted to be a part of. Being a part of a really tight-knit community and a small school has meant that I could really connect with my peers and my tutors. I could feel like a person here rather than a number, and I've been overwhelmed with joy living in the Quest community and I certainly feel like I found what I was looking for in that vein. I don't think that we are producing just business people or lawyers or doctors, like that's not what we're about. Quest students can go off and do anything. You may go from here to become that doctor, lawyer, accountant, engineer, but at some point in your life, the lessons you can learn at Quest will be vitally important to you. It will serve you well, no matter what you do in life. I have a report on my desk right now, which is this year's outcomes of the National Survey of Student Engagement, or NESI. And again, we're head and shoulders above other institutions in Canada. In a speedily globalizing world, we need like never before to be free thinkers. And that is what Quest is preparing us to be. Times are changing very, very quickly. And the thing is to be nimble, to be smart, to be flexible, but above all, have the right values that will drive your decisions. We hope that your experience at Quest will give you the self-confidence to know that you can adapt, you can be flexible and make a positive difference.
I believe that Quest is creating leaders for the future world. I believe that Quest students do not come here to learn how to fit within a particular industry. We come here to learn how to dismantle it and build something new and fresh and contribute to the growth of humanity. As an undergraduate, you want to wake up every single day and get ready for class and have like no idea what's going to happen, no idea what's going to come up. You know, whether you're going to have your mind blown in a philosophy class or you're just going to get really muddy collecting amphipods at the beach. It's, uh, yeah, when I think about it in those terms, I really can't imagine being anywhere else, you know, having any other kind of experience.